right, if you haven't seen it going across Twitter and social media, I believe Kevin Cunningham, uh, coach of uh, Erickson Lubin, and I guess coach of Adrian Broner, who said he wanted to come back at 140, if you haven't heard, he put up a tournament bracket for the welterweight division, eight-man tournament, and I'm going to tell you why I don't like it, and I wouldn't care to see it, but we back. Good fellow Sports TV. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Appreciate the love and support. Uh, just keep sharing the videos. Better best way to support the channel. Now it has all the eight welterweights, um, prominent welterweights right now. Um, you know it's debatable. Would you rather see uh, Mikey or Lippin yet? Or that's pretty much the ones that I'm looking at because Yugas definitely deserve to be there uh, after his performances uh, with uh, Sean Porter, where some people thought he won. And I believe he uh he banged uh Delorme out of his frame as well and beat up Ray Robinson, who some people beat beat think beat Ingus Kavalaskis, the mean machine, uh that's fighting Crawford tonight. But he set it up like this Porter, Garcia, Thurman, Yugis, Porter, Crawford, Pacquiao, and Mikey Garcia. And once you the first thing that that, that really stood out to me was that the ages of these fighters to be going through a tournament. I mean, Mikey is in his 30s, Pacquiao in his 40s, Lugas is in his 30s, Thurman is in his 30s, Danny is in his 30s, Spence will be 30 next month, Crawford is 32, he'll be 33 late next year. And that's one thing that stuck out to me is that, one, um, this tournament got a lot of older fighters in there. Usually a tournament in boxing should be, you know, more younger than this, but a lot of them dudes have been at, every dude at this weight has been above 147 besides two dudes. And those are the two dudes that unified the division below. And Crawford and Danny Garcia. Errol Spence started off at 54. Thurman fought Carlos Catano, uh, Catano like at 50, 50 or 52. And Yugas, excuse me. Yugas is the other guy that haven't been up there. Uh, Mikey, uh, and Mikey, excuse a few guys, excuse me. Mikey, Yugas, and uh, Danny and, and Crawford. But Pacquiao been up there. Uh, he fought Margarito. Porter been up there pretty high. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, a lot of these dudes ain't really moved up and made no mark yet. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, Thurman is, is, didn't make no mark moving up. He should be at 54. His his 47 career pound, pound career should be over with. Porter should be gone. Spence should be gone. And pretty much Pacquiao should be retired. You know what I'm saying? But that's one thing that stuck out to me about this tournament. It was the ages of these fighters. And really, Thurman can't stay healthy. And Pacquiao is not about to wait till he's 40 to go through the gauntlet of no tournament. Okay. Then if you look at the, if you look at the tournament bracket, it just lets you know that premier boxing champions is really pussycat boxing champions. All right. Um, look what fighter on here ain't with PBC. It's only one guy Crawford. So you telling me they got a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They got a seven. They got seven guys in this tournament to one to one to Terrence Crawford. You know, they fear what Crawford going to Andre Ward the tournament. You know what I'm saying? Like, real talk. This, and then there's some guys that didn't even make it. You're talking about Jamal James and Sammy Vasquez still out there. You're talking about Sergey Lipinets is out there. So you talking about, like, dude, this is this lets you know that PBC, they scared of Terrence Crawford. They not even trying to send, like, a, a, a Jamal James over there. They not trying to send a Lipinets over there to fight Crawford and nothing like that. Look, look at this situation. It's seven PBC fighters in this tournament to one. You got a, a great chance of one of your fighters, if you believe in them and you, the way you pushing them as stars can beat Crawford. That's just let you know right then and there, you know what I'm saying? That visually they got the, they got the, the horses over there to compete, you know, but they don't, they don't want to throw none of them over there, man. I heard, from behind the scenes yesterday that PBC and Crawford didn't want the fight. So I already would already know. I'm not going to put nobody's name out there who, uh, who said it, but it's a very, very prominent organization in boxing and it's not a promoter, but you're looking at this tournament. I don't need to know that. I seen Mikey get his ass whooped before you beat Pacquiao. People going to say he owed Porter been beat up before Garcia been beat up officially and unofficially before, Thurman just got beat by Pacquiao. He ain't the same fighter. And your Dennis Yugas just seemed not to have enough punching power to get him over the hump. Uh, you can simulate this whole thing. You can knock seven out. And if Spence come back healthy, give me Spence and Crawford. If not, hey, give me Porter and Crawford. Give me Crawford and, and, and Danny. 
And that's all I need to see. And maybe Crawford Thurman, but he just looking like a, a old broke down grandpa at this point in time. But at this point, it, we beyond we beyond repair this division. What I mean by that, we beyond the tournament, dude. This tournament should have happened at least two, two, three years ago before Crawford even got to the division. The PBC is marinating with the Ivan Reddick and Garcia fights with the Keith Thurman and Leonard Bundini, Bundini Bundu fights and the uh, Keith Thurman and Luis Colazzo fights for years. They kept him uh, away from Errol Spence, you know, Errol Spence, you know, away from Keith Thurman. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody trying to sit here and, and see something we already know. Most of the, we already know it's Errol Spence. And then it's the rest of the PBC dudes. We know Crawford, the only other guy out there. You ain't, I ain't got to see, all these dudes go to war to know who the top dog. Pacquiao the legend. Even if you stop Pacquiao, what does it prove? It absolutely proves nothing. He an older fighter. People fighting for a payday. If you handle your business in boxing, you can be Pacquiao. You can be a legend. You can be the A-side if you clean your division up. But a lot of these dudes been in this division too freaking long. Bent dudes should have been moved up. So I'm not trying to see, I'm not trying to see nothing I should have got two or three years ago because they could have did it. Crawford didn't have to be invo involved. He, he could have, he would have been at 40. Errol Spence, Keith Thurman should have wrapped his division up and we could have been moving around. We moving on with our day. We could have been talking about Taylor, Mikey and Crawford and all that other stuff. These dudes are behind on they on they on they timing when they come to, when they come to fighting. Errol Spence should be competing at 54. Thurman should be competing and being unified at 54. Sean Porter shouldn't have been at 54 doing this thing. Only guys that should be in this division still, Pacquiao should be retired, is Mikey, if he wanted to, uh, Lippias, Ugas, and Crawford, and Danny Garcia. And them should be the guys at the division, but tournament too late to happen, man. There's some shit that should have happened two years ago when PBC could completely control the board. You know what I'm saying? They should have brought Pacquiao over with his WBO before they transferred it out. And we could have seen a tournament, but right now, can't put no tournament together. And they talking about Errol Spence coming back in 2021. Keith Thurman walking around looking like a light heavyweight cruiserweight. You know what I'm saying? You got two titles that's on the sideline. Errol Spence. You got Thurman, who got a name. He on the sideline with a hand injury, if you don't know. You got Manny Pacquiao out here. He don't want to be he too old to be in the tournament. You know what I'm saying? And it's just it's, it's, it's something they should have came up with years ago. You know, the PBC should have came up with a welterweight division and made these dudes fight each other because all of them got losses. Except for Errol Spence. Sean got losses. Danny got losses. Mikey got losses. Now Keith got losses. Pacquiao got losses. You know what I'm saying? Yugas got losses. Lippia got a loss. You know what I'm saying? So they should have been did this, dog. You know, you got Bob Aaron complaining about, oh, boxing in trouble because they not selling tickets. And PBC not moving no tickets neither, despite what the fa facade they putting on. PBC kind of remind me of Facebook and social media stunners. You see them on social media and they look like they living their best life. But you see them in, in life and they working at Walmart with a blue vest on. They working at Popeye's dropping chicken into the grease. And, and they looking broken and broke. You know what I'm saying? That's how PBC is. PBC, they like fake rich. You know, they look, fake look good. They they having financial pro pro problems too. They telecast not doing well, and they not moving tickets. They said, we got 16,000 people in attendance for Sean Porter and Earl Spence. 8,000 of them tickets came from casino comps, and they came from giveaways. So don't don't believe it. Both sides, everybody doing bad when it comes to ticket sales. It's boxing is becoming, a, a, it was a poor man's sport, and it's becoming, you know, um, 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 expensive. But if you know who I'm picking to win the tournament, if that's what you, if you win, if you, you, you know, that's if you wondering, Bud, I'm beating Bud to beat everybody ass in there. Uh, I think his toughest fight at this point, since Thurman ain't healthy, it will be a Manny Pacquiao. Yep, that would be his toughest fight. Um, that's just my opinion. I think Pacquiao will be a tough fight for him. Um, Thurman at his best, I think, is the absolute uh, worst, uh, toughest matchup for him. But he ain't at his best no more. I think Sean, he got a tough style, but he'll bang Sean out of his frame, man. But it's Pacquiao. Pacquiao will be the toughest fight for him to get through here, man. Speed and 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 just explosiveness, especially if that Pac Man that fought Keith Thurman, that's a tough out. But Earl Spence, a uh, ABC type fighter, he 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 got a lot to learn. He get picked apart, you know what I'm saying? And I mean that. 
But hey, good fellow sports TV. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email if you got business questions, inquiry, sponsorship, video requests. Uh, all the links in the description, email, social media. Want to make a donation? That link's in the description. Best way to donate, share the video. Let me know what you guys think about the hypothetical tournament. One time for the one time.